So guys, welcome back to another video. In this one today, we're going to be looking at some potential new players to FIFA Ultimate Team because tomorrow, the uh, Rule Breakers promo is beginning and EA have actually just tweeted out saying Rule Breakers leave behind their previous styles of play and transform them into different kind of stars with game changing stat updates coming the 23rd of the 10th, which obviously is tomorrow. So on the preview screen, it looks like we are getting a Mertens and a Harry Kane who have had some stats tweaks. Now, um, interestingly, it looks like Mertens is going to go down in dribbling, but up in shooting. So, uh, definitely something to keep an eye on there. Obviously, we have now seen like a stats revamp in FIFA. In FIFA 21, it seems like they can do more customization, as we've seen with the flashback cards, especially that Witzel, where they changed him from a CDM to a cam for that item. Also on this screen is a Harry Kane, which appears to have pace which definitely would make him more usable in FIFA. So that seems to be the kind of theme that uh, they're going with for this promo. So in the comments below, I want to hear from you guys. What do you make of this? And also, what players do you think will feature? And what kind of stat kind of switches do you think we'll see? Because it looks like the pattern is that if one area gets upgraded, another one gets downgraded. So, uh... Yeah, I wonder what's going to come. In this video, we're going to look at some potential cards. So let's start with Bernardo Silva, who in FIFA is on the wing, but he doesn't really have, like, let's be honest, like, his pace isn't great. It's not terrible, but it's not great for a winger. So because of that reason, he isn't really utilised too well out wide. So it could actually be quite useful to see him get a big boost in the pace. Obviously, this would mean that one of his stats gets downgraded, and maybe that would come at the cost of his dribbling. Also, maybe his shooting and passing could get swapped around. And then um, in that kind of way. So um, yeah, just an idea. And um, if they were to do this, I would hope that his dribbling stays a bit higher than 82. But nonetheless, I do think a pacey Bernardo Silva on the wing would be quite useful for FIFA. Another obvious thing EA could look to do with this is if they want to change play styles of players, make slow centre backs usable. And Hummels is an easy example. In FIFA, I think he's got like 50 something pace. It might be 55. So for that reason, he is just not picked up by anyone, he's not featuring in anyone's weekend league teams, but um, a boosted version of him with good pace definitely would be. Similar to Scream PK last year when he got that pace boost, a lot of people wanted him, that could happen to Hummels this year depending on the boost, so uh, yeah, probably would have to downgrade his defending a bit, it's 89 as a base stat um, on his non-informed card, so that might have to come down a bit, but if that means he gets a big pace boost, I would definitely prefer to use this card. Um, even though it's not as good defensively, just because it's got a lot more pace and it's more usable in the game. The next player we're going to talk about is Sead Kolasinac, who in FIFA really isn't all that usable. He's got insane physicals, but his pace just definitely isn't desirable, especially for a fullback. So um, what if we had a switch of those, like the pace and physical swapped? He'd still have relatively good physicals, but he'd also have really good pace, which, as I say, would make him a usable fullback in the game. So that could be a nice option for this promo and um, also up next I've got a Adama Traore now I don't think this one's too likely to be honest and um, because obviously he was involved in Ultimate Scream last year and this promo is essentially taken over Ultimate Scream but as we know EA do like to repeat content so uh, it could happen so a rule breaker's Adama He's got insane pace and dribbling in the game. What if that was downgraded a little bit and it strengthened his other areas? That would make this card, you know, pretty useful. And um, I think this card would be very, very desirable. Hopefully it'd be a bit higher rated and not packed as much because I don't want to come up against this card regularly in Weekend League. I'm still not um, over the fact that his Ultimate Scream card last year used to absolutely destroy me in foot champs. Lucas Piszczek has a centre-back item in this year's Ultimate Team and of course was formerly a full-back. So maybe we could have a stat change which, you know, gives him the pace of a full-back or the pace that he used to have. And uh, obviously that'll come at the cost of his defending maybe. But um, it'd be nice to have another pacey centre-back because the Bundesliga doesn't have enough of them with Alaba, Lucas Hernandez, Klosterman and now Informed Tom Stillin. Yeah, another Informed Piss Check would be quite cool. Um, a special Piss Check, sorry, at centre-back. Um, anyway, moving on to one which I think would certainly be popular in the game. And a few years ago, he actually had a card similar to this with Ultimate Scream Buskets. Um, a Rule Breaker Buskets obviously would be very nice. Um, ultimately, downgrade the defending, boost the pace, make him usable. That's... You know, as plain as simple as it is. I, I think this would be a nice card for the game as well. So, uh, what do you guys think? Would you like to see a card like this, similar to maybe his ultimate screen from a few years ago? Let me know in the comments. Like it said in the description, this promo is kind of about changing play styles of players a bit. And Giroud is obviously a target man striker. Well, 
that's what he's meant to be. But if we're going to go along the rules of his promo, then we can give him a bit of pace, upgrade his dribbling, and make him, you know, a more versatile striker. And I would actually really like to see a boosted Giroud in Ultimate Team. I've been wanting a flashback variant of him uh, to flashback to a year where he had pace for years. Um, it's never come, but maybe this could be the promo that Giroud finally has some pace in Ultimate Team. So uh, maybe look out for this one. Would you guys like to see this card, uh, type of card sorry, in Ultimate Team? I think it'd be pretty nice, especially because... I doubt they're going to change player heights, so uh, he could be a pacey player with decent dribbling and finishing, who's also tall, so he might be really, really effective in-game, especially with heading being a viable attacking option in this year's Ultimate Team. Lukaku is another prime example of a player who I think could fit this promo quite well. Um, another tallish striker who isn't really as mobile as the other options. So maybe for just Lukaku we could do something simple. A stat change which just swaps his dribbling and his physical stats to make him more mobile in game. Obviously some stat does have to come down so we're going to choose physical on him. And um, hopefully he can keep his pace and shooting because that could potentially be a very nice card in game. Now, I know the stats look a bit odd on this card, but you've got someone like Marco Verratti who in-game normally has pretty poor pace, really good passing and really good dribbling, but his shooting and physical stats aren't really that great. Maybe they could mould Marco Verratti into a more well-rounded midfielder rather than just an out-and-out -out distributor of the ball. Um, so I think that would be a nice card for Ultimate Team, especially since Verratti really just isn't a chosen player for Ultimate Team. Like, he's never really been that great in-game. So who knows, maybe this card could have some use. Now, on the teaser screen, there was, of course, a Brazilian on the right, and I think that player maybe could be a Casemiro, who could maybe get downgraded in the uh, physical and defensive department, and then even out his stats a bit so once again he goes from being just you know a standard CDM to more of a box-to-box -box player so once again changing his style of play. Alternatively another Brazilian it could be is Roberto Firmino who in FIFA has a, a good card let's be honest a very a very very good one as a base item he's also got a nice inform as well but um, he doesn't quite lack the pace to play in the striker role and um, similar with Mertens if he was to be given a boost um, I think that would be really nice for the game. Give him a bit of a pace boost, maybe downgrade his dribbling a tiny bit, and uh, also upgrade his shooting. And then you've got a really, really nice card. I would actually love this card to be in the game. Once again, Firmino featured in Ultimate Stream in last year's promo, so because of that reason, I'm a bit on the fence about including it. But um, if I'm being honest, like, look at this card. Like, that would be amazing in game. It would be a brilliant cam or striker. So, uh, yeah, I would like to see that. Anyway guys, we're going to wrap things up there. I'm going to imagine that this is going to be a two-week promo, so there should be a Team 2 next week. And if that's the case, I'm going to release another set of predictions next week for Team number 2. And hopefully by that point, we'll obviously understand this promo a bit more and be able to give, you know, a bit more accurate predictions. Nonetheless, I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you could leave a like rating on it, that would be great. And in the comments below, be sure to be active. I want to know who you think will feature in this Rule Breakers promo and what kind of stat changes you do indeed want to see. Let me know all that good stuff down below. If you're new around here, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.